Hi Libra, how you doing? This is Dharamkar Finley with Mystic Ashram and I'm here doing the quick and easy uh, US Game Systems Tarot which is really super nifty for readings which are on the fly like this one. So um, first for Libras we have this is for your sun moon or rising if you want to donate all that information's below uh if you want to keep seeing videos at all thanks to the cost of internet and uploading and all this other stuff then probably you might want to make a donation um so anyway your current uh card is the five of cups for your your current situation um, you have the strength of spirit to endure, but you've just had a marriage or breakup, um, grief, loss. Uh, this is a temporary period that will pass. There was some sort of, uh, disappointment or a loss of love or friendship in your life. So you're grieving. And then, um, above that, you have the Hermit in Reverse. It is a distrust of others. You refuse to listen to others' advice. The short-sightedness is your undoing. Dwelling in the past, holding me back from progress. Rushing to decisions creates mo uh, most of your problems. If you keep on doing what you've always done, the results will be the same. Rely on others and trust their judgment. So there are plenty of people around you, Libra, who can help you at this time. In your mental zone right now, you have, whoo, went flying, jumpy card, a lot of energy in this one. Um, this is the Two of Cups, and it's one of the soulmate cards of any deck. It says that there's a new love affair blossoming in your mind, Libra, uh, that you'll be in sync with this person, that uh, they are coming to you after a long flirtation. Uh, a broken relationship will be healed through forgiveness eventually, and you are going to start forming connections in business, which... Um, will have a dramatic impact on your life. So in your current position in uh, the world, in your material realm right now, signifies male under 30, stable but boring personality and inadequate social skills, low self-esteem, repressed anger, dominates others, seeks to control them, blows things out of proportion, overreacts, unrealistic about money, better at spending it than earning it, thinks the world owes him a living, poor work ethic. So this is like every parent card, dad card ever, and it's the one of staffs. And this might be somebody you know. It's not necessarily you or whatever. Uh, in terms of secret information at the moment, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. It's a good beginning that turns against you. Uh, some bad luck. Um, you, maybe a dream you once held or feelings you once held for someone has totally been doomed now. It's no longer happening. Um, your ideas for a business maybe too advanced or, or bad timing. It might not be original enough um, to garner support, so you may have to revise your plans down to something manageable and workable to start with, which is smaller than you were initially hoping. Um, bad initial planning is to blame, so whatever this was, that caused a uh, major upset because over here in the past we have the five of wands, the major upset. This is a lot of fighting. This is a lot of, um, uh, it says you may have to resort to underhanded methods to get a project pushed through somehow. Uh, competition, greed, lust for power, obstacles, secret opposition to your plans, perhaps. You feel a rival challenges to your authority. 
Um, there's no easy way to do this. Arguments will be part of every day, says this card. But to a large amount of the circumstance or population, arguments are not every day. And if they are every day, there's some major problems happening. Like you're impacting your health in a major negative way. So um, then it says... Uh, there's no easy way to do this. Arguments are part of every day. A frustrating and difficult time is ahead. Hassles, bad luck, and nuisances. So that's all right there for you, Libra. Um, now, it does mean you've gone out. You are grieving this loss. But in your head, you're hoping for a better future with somebody else or workable partnership because that one was not workable for you anymore. This one says that um, maybe you suffered a spendthrift in your midst and you've dealt with it now. This is the future card and it is this man handing out uh, stuff to... Uh, people who have come by a monk and a traveler and he's a smith and he's working on this cathedral here um, sculpting actually and it says a good time for new team projects group business ventures business partnership advisable uh, teamwork essential to achieving your goals so this this sounds like you'll have one other person involved so maybe a newsstand or a copy shop or coffee shop or any of those numbers of things hard work is noticed good planning and careful preparation plans plays off with profit competence you do everything right in others eyes so this spells success having your own business or developing a skill or trade that you perform a couple hours every day for as long as you can manage all right so in uh, your current emotions, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, which is positive, because the Three of Swords upright is not happy. Um, three of Swords in reverse says, someone protects your feelings instead of telling the truth. One person in your relationship will be tempted to betray the other. It's not saying who did who here. Just putting that out there. Flaws in a relationship are overlooked because the positive aspects are worth keeping. So this might have gone on way too long. Contented, contented and happy with a relationship, you see no need to change anything. So maybe this was something that was going on too long. You refused to react. It's not like you didn't know. But it what it says really is that there were some positive things. That's nice. But it's done now. And um, maybe you wouldn't hear the truth. Maybe somebody wasn't telling you the truth. Maybe um, there were just other things distracting you. And nobody got around to doing anything about it. But for whatever reason. That's, that's kind of over with now. Um, this could also be if you're in a couple, a couple partnership, uh, it, it might be a third party who messed you over real bad and you as a couple have been fighting about it for a month or, or whatever it is, you've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations because stuff was mixed up and you might have handled this in multiple ways, including, but this is saying particularly parting ways. Um, but it's also saying that there's some sort of two of cups, uh, soulmate flame energy starting off maybe in your head. So, uh, for them, the other side, all other people in your life who you have contact right now, who is influencing you the most is the high priestess. This would be, uh, inner peace and strength. You'll be preoccupied, a passive reaction at best. Let others overreact while you remain calm and sure of the outcome. 
The answers to all your questions are already inside you. Tap into your gut feelings. Mysterious and desirable yet unattainable woman may enter your life. So there might be a, a major person who is not a love interest, but a, sort of a mentor or a mother or a sister or a um, somebody who becomes a, a huge many years long ally in uh, succeeding and uh, pretty much you're just pretty chill and the answers are all inside of you which I take to mean that you are in the midst of, of stability and peacefulness that you like and that that can just keep on going indefinitely uh, as far you know you operate well with this this is new so uh, in your hopes and fears for the future and you, what you have to use, the card of inspiration, insight, and hope. It's also the card of Aquarius, so the coming age of Aquarius will suit you just fine. Dreams for the future will come true. Contact with someone who will dramatically change your life. Strong love between two people, entering a period of serenity and satisfaction. Enjoy this calm period. Emotional needs are fulfilled. Um, share your good fortune, inspiration, insight, and hope. So this is, if you want to give back, share. Share a part of yourself, share your money, income, whatever it is. But this is indicating long-term relationship, uh, which is not necessarily love relationship. This could be, like I said, a mentor, family member, uh, uh, best friend uh, of your aunt who you've always been close to. Wh whoever this is, is facilitating wishes in your life, Libra. Okay, and finally, as the outcome, we have three of cups. What could be more perfect for Libra, um, which is the card of celebration, intimate uh, celebrations between great friends uh, who know how to enjoy themselves and relax. And this says, good harvest, abundance, an active period marked by fun and successful relationships, a new understanding of what makes you happy. So what I'm getting is that you were very material, maybe physically oriented, uh, material gratification kind of oriented lifestyle. You are now seeing that other things can make you happy as well. Different types of relationships. Distancing and being discriminating in who you're enjoying hanging with. Being in a new opportunity environment. You feel energized and in high spirit. Strong friendships are important at this time. Strong sense of community. So don't ignore those community resources that are there for you. Team spirit at work and in leisure activities. So maybe go on some sports trips. Popularity, uh, invitations to social events. So this would say join all those clubs and groups and organizations and seek out congregations in which to take part. This is talking about Libra. This is how probably you are going to manifest this Two of Cups soulmate uh, on the same page, in sync, uh, kind of um, flirtation. So um, forgiveness is key with whatever, if this isn't the same person, this is definitely about forgiving that last person so the new one can come in. Um, this is also about somebody you can have a business with, who you see eye to eye with. And I drew three past life reading cards because I needed more information. This one is about baby. It's about um, babies are significant to you in this life or perhaps you lived many lives where you were uh, infants, and that was a significant period of those past lives. 
but um, in the future you may want to aspire to work with babies or to um, uh, maybe there's a specific um, baby that you want to honor and uh, uh, enjoy their accomplishments or um, whatever your memories with them you want to uh, um, be involved in work having to do with baby or child so and then there's Egypt and of course with baby and Egypt together I thought of course Moses uh, this is about having strong past life ties with a soul group united to Egypt. It's also about uh, understanding that l one life is, is finite, yet we live multiple lives in the reincarnation view of things. And that life is eternal, that it's not an on or off, it's not a one-time shot, it's not a suddenly here and then gone. It is a gradual process to get here, a gradual process to leave, a natural ascension to other places. And uh, just like our world has all those processes, the other side, other dimensions we tap into do also. And then that is eternal life as symbolized by the Ankh and the priesthood of Egypt that you have a soul connection with. And then imprisonment or slavery, which made me think in Egypt of like Ben-Hur and the persecuted Christians as well as the Jew Jews through the uh, Red Sea um, of the desert. So, or Dead Sea. Uh, this is um, about... Uh, working service in this life for people who are trapped or in need of assistance, trying to make up for um, some sort of uh, issue. Perhaps there was a transgression you feel guilty about. Perhaps you've worked a lot with people who are downtrodden, had substance abuse issues, needed a lot of assistance uh, just getting plugged into resources for their daily needs and you're very compassionate towards that now and and maybe you want to go into social work maybe you want to start a prayer group or a 12-step group in your church maybe you want to start your own church uh, your own congregation and go door to door handing out comic books um, whatever it is, you feel this need to, for humanity, that's what I'm getting, this, this all lives matter, humanity, humanism, enlightened humanism, this attitude that imprisonment or slavery can be too close to one another and we need to find humane solutions for, um, issues of, of social problems and mental health and uh, long-standing generational issues. And I, I think that you want to help children whose parents are imprisoned or um, you want to help uh, families uh, reunite or take, learn to take care of their children better one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. You want to guide them facilitate them caring for their children and getting the resources they need. That's what I'm getting from that. And it is based on this tie to Egypt because you are a very old soul, Libra. Um, this is telling me you are a very old soul. You were possibly even there when Hammurabi first laid down the law to all mankind. And so it doesn't really matter what your karmic lessons are in this life or what deeds you've done or not done. Every day is a new day and in the present moment you can align with this ancient lineage of um, something higher. Something higher than just what the eye can or cannot see to guide your actions. 
and create a better future, but there will be a priestess of Egypt coming into your life and that will heal this. This will this will be uh a, maybe you could be a an expert on um you know ancient uh relics um and you stumble across uh amazing baby type materials and you're the first person to notice that these are playthings instead of unidentified objects and then this is saying that you work for justice you work for social causes and for so that human beings can have basic rights and children are protected and the law the eternal law stands okay so i hope that this this helps in some way, shape, or form with your healing growth. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And Sanam, until next time, I will be with you soon. Uh, I am Dharamkar Finley, signing off for Mish Mystic Ashram. Take care.